This is the award-winning Ernest Angley Hour, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ to all nations. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. As you watch today's program, reach out in faith and allow the Lord to minister to your personal needs. You can have a miracle. And here is God's man for this hour, Reverend Ernest Angley. Greetings in the name of the Lord and welcome to the Ernest Angley Hour. I'm the Reverend Chris Mockamer. I'm an associate pastor at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral, and I'll be your guest host for the program today. What a lineup we have for you. Good gospel music and singing. A wonderful message by the Reverend Ernest Angley continued from last week, and you'll watch the healing line the power of God working, bringing miracles, healings, and deliverance to people. But to start this program, we have a great number by Angels Grace Cathedral Choir, a special song of faith, Claim Your Mountain. <laughs> Jesus, that wonderful name, 
Jesus is so good to all of us each and every day. Now, taking you into Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral for the conclusion of the sermon by Reverend Angeles is serving the Lord life to you or just a habit. Jude chapter 1, verse 12. These are spots in your feast of charity. When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear, clouds they are without water, cared about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth. Without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots. Boy, he put it to him, didn't he? Twice dead. You know what that means? You study that. <laughs> That's something. They weren't dead. They were twice dead, plucked up by the roots. There they were, nothing, just a nothing. And you thought they were something. You let them influence you. You thought, oh, I just can't stand it for them to be heard. The Lord plucks them up by the roots. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I thank God for the word. And I'm not ashamed of his word. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. 
Let God be true, the Bible says, and every man a liar. That's the way God feels about it, too. God wants more than a form of godliness, more than lip service, more than habits. God wants you to worship him in spirit and in truth. That's the way we worship around here. That's the way the three ministers here preach all of it. All of, we believe it all. We live it. We live what we preach. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 15, verses 8 and 9. This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But their heart is far from me. Isn't that pitiful? But in vain, notice, in vain they do worship me, teachers for doctrines, the commandments of men, not the word of God. No. John chapter 4, verse 24, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And that's what we do. We worship here in spirit and in truth. That's the reason you see miracles, miracles in every service, right? Philippians. Yeah, give the Lord a praise. That's in order. Philippians, the third chapter, verse 3. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus. And we have no confidence in the flesh. No, we don't do it. No confidence. No confidence. Will you say it? I have no confidence in the flesh. Say it real loud. And another time, right like you mean it. Now we're going. First Samuel chapter 12, verse 24. Only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things he hath done for you. Now that is the little guy that became a priest. His mother promised him to the Lord. And she named him Samuel. And that word Samuel means ask of God. Ask of God. And she, she left him with Eli the priest. And Eli, his boys, had backslidden. It was awful how they were having sex with the girls when they came to worship the Lord was terrible and God got rid of them when Jesus came with new and living way he strove to make men see that they their own traditions and habits did not profit the spiritual man yet many held to their own lifeless habits and traditions that's the reason so many dead churches. Preachers held to their own worthless traditions. The Spirit of God, the blood changes you. You become a new creature, a new creation in Christ Jesus. Jesus came and said, you must be born again. Born new. Born new. We've been born new. We have a new life. I enjoy mine. What about you? People today are doing the same thing. They serve the Lord simply out of habit. Traditions be there is no spirit of life in Christ Jesus. No. Tradition, tradition. No wonder Jesus rose up so hard against it. If you want to be a true son or a daughter of God, you must be led 
by the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Romans 8, verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit, Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Isn't that wonderful? We're led by the Holy Ghost. We're led by Him. Paul left his old habits, tradition, and customs behind. He got so caught up with the spirit of life in Christ and the grace of God that he marveled when others backed away from it and went back into bondage. Galatians chapter 1, verses 6 and 7, I marvel that you're so soon removed from him that calls you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and could pervert the gospel and would pervert it, the gospel of Christ. You don't associate with people like that. You had to keep yourself clean. If you don't, you'll stink and smell bad just like them. Habits and traditions. A man can have a strong hold on people, but don't be deceived by them. Colossians, second chapter, verse eight. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy, vain deceit, after the tradition of men, the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. And that's what they're teaching. Paul preached the gospel of the spirit of life in Christ. Galatians 1, verse 11 and 12. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man, for I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. And the Lord taught us, didn't he? Yes, he did. I know he taught me the blood, the greatness of the blood, taught me about God the Father, taught me about Jesus the Son, and about the Holy Ghost, the Trinity, the Trinity. He has given me so many books and still more to go forth. The printed page really talks loud this day, the right kind. And the word, the word is given in all of these books for the right way. Don't serve God out of habit or tradition of man. Be led of the Spirit of God. Serving God will be life for you. Romans 8, verse 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by the spirit that dwelleth in you, the spirit that Jesus brought and he will, it was will to us, and we're using it, aren't we? And ask yourself again, is serving the Lord life to you or just a habit? It's life to most of us, and we have the good habit, the good habit that we must continue to treasure of gathering together with God's holy people 
and enjoying the blessed true word of God. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us. He sent his word, physical healing. We believe in good medicines. We believe in good doctors. But we believe in God the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. The doctor, the medical world, they cannot heal. They can cut on you, open you up, sew you up, but they cannot heal. And some of them have acted like they, and they are, they feel above God. They feel they have that wisdom, that knowledge. They're not on their way to heaven, I'll tell you. But we have some good doctors. And that's if you go, when you're going to have an operation, get a doctor that prays before he operates. We have them, thank God. We do have them, you know. I had doctors talk to me, and they would let me know. They let me know. They pray before they operate. That's the kind of doctor and doctors we need. We have medical people that are part of this work. We appreciate them. They're workers for the Lord. They have a holy calling from the Lord to help people, to help people. visiting the sick, getting people saved. The Lord said, time would come, whosoever calleth on the name of the Lord shall be saved. There was a time that when the old reached 90, you seldom ever could get one of them saved. They were so much into themselves, they thought, I'm all right. I don't feel like praying. I'm all right. Self, self, and they die without God. Now, the Lord, they have that feeling, and they'll pray, you pray the prayer with them. And they call upon the Lord, and they get saved, really saved. The Lord said, we pluck them as brands from the fire, so you don't give up, do you? No, pluck them as brands from the fire. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Makes me want to shout, what about you? Amen. Yes, yes, indeed, yes. Now, you that's heard me, you're unsaved. Television or radio, I'm going to pray for you. The people's going to help me pray. Say, oh God, God. I'm lost. I don't want to go to hell. I haven't been serving you. But you said if I'd come to you, you would forgive me and your blood would wash away all of my sins, all of my sins. And I believe, oh, I do believe the blood of Jesus washes away all of my sin, all of my sin. Thank God Almighty. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. And now ask the Lord to heal you. We're going to, I'm going to pray for you. Put your hand against mine on the television screen or if you're listening by radio, if you can just reach over and touch. If you're not able to do any of that, just look up. Lord, here they are. I bring them to you. The Spirit of God is here. And it's wonderful. My, it's this cloud of blue that is the color of the Holy Ghost power. Reach up. You're in it. Those people, they're just shadows back there now. You're just shadows because so much of miracle power over you. So much. People's being healed. 
people's being healed. Raise your hands everywhere. Take any miracle you need, saith the Lord. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it'll be opened unto you. Glory, glory, glory. The Lord is here. The healing Christ is here. And with his blood stripes, we have physical healing. Physical healing. Thank God, thank God, thank God. And now go on to get the Holy Ghost. And I'm praying, God anoint you. And the word to glorify the Lord with is glory, glory, glory. You're glorifying the Godhead. You're glorifying God, glorifying the Son. The Holy Ghost is helping you do it. And when you receive the Holy Ghost, they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Acts 2, 4, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And that's what will happen when you receive the Holy Ghost. You don't have to be with a crowd. And some people try to teach people to speak in tongues. That's not of God. That's of the devil. Don't you be deceived that way. You'll insult the Holy Ghost and you'll blaspheme. A lot of people have blasphemed the Holy Ghost that way already. My God and my Lord. Lord, I anoint them. Give them the good Holy Ghost, the real thing. When he comes in, he will speak for himself. Thank God Almighty, he'll speak for himself. Glory, glory, glory. Write and tell me about it. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Well, friend, there's a lot to consider in that message today by the Reverend Ernest Angley. I hope today's program is blessing you. But right now, I have a very special announcement to make. Friend, it won't be long before it's time for the big July 4th weekend camp meeting at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Oh, what a time in the Lord it will be over that great weekend of services. It runs Friday, June 29th through Sunday, July 1st. And admission is free for every service. People will be traveling from other states. They'll be here from other nations. Oh, what a time in the Lord it will be. And it starts Friday, June 29th at 7 p.m. The great miracle service will take place. The power of God will be in operation. People receiving deliverance, miracles, healings, and abundance. Come and be with us. Then Saturday at 2.30 p.m., it's the big water baptismal service. If you've yet to be baptized as a child of God, come and be with us. Then 7 p.m. that night, it's the big Holy Ghost rally and great anointing service. People are receiving the precious baptism of the Holy Ghost in our services, and you can too. And then Sunday, July 1st, beginning at 10 a.m., Reverend Angley will have a very special message for the people in the main auditorium. We'll also have Sunday school for the boys and girls in our junior church department. And Sunday evening, beginning at 6 p.m., it's a big jubilee sing, plenty of good gospel music and singing as we worship the Lord in a wonderful way. No preaching in this service. Friend, if you're interested in coming, for more information, go to our website, ernestangely.org. In partners of this Jesus ministry, Reverend Angley sent you a letter this month, and the theme is decisions. This letter will bless your thought. He really got God's thoughts for you to put into this letter, and oh, how it will serve you well. And don't forget, June is our anniversary month, and we are celebrating our 64th anniversary of this Jesus ministry in the Akron, Cuyahoga Falls area. So do send in and help us celebrate and continue to take this gospel around the world. You can send in $192, which is $3 for each year. 
send in $128, which is $2 for each year, or you can send in $64. Of course, that's $1 for each year. Do send in whatever the Lord lays upon your heart. It's all used for winning souls, and it's greatly appreciated. And when you sponsor this Jesus ministry from month to month, you get a new Giant Little Book of the Month. And the June Giant Little Book is Can We Run and Not Be Weary? A great message by the Reverend Ernest Angley. So when you send in your support for the month of June, request gift offer P344. Our mailing address is Ernest Angley Ministries, P.O. Box 1790, Akron, Ohio, 44309. In Canada, Ernest Angley Ministries, Box 970, Station U, Toronto, Ontario, M8Z 5P9. And of course, you can always contact us and make donations through our website, ernestangley.org. And this is Father's Day month, so agree in prayer with us all month long that God save unsaved fathers, that he gives these fathers the miracles, the healings that they need in their body, that God really move and bless fathers throughout the world. And now we have more good gospel music and singing coming up for you. And first, it's a beautiful song by the Cathedral Trio, and the title is Heaven Will Be Worth It All. Listen and be blessed. No matter what we face, As a city that he'll take us to no matter the grief or the sickness or pain heaven will be worth it all heaven will be worth it all face and hear the master's call. He'll say, child, you kept the faith. You stayed in the race. You know heaven will be worth it all. to fight and stay strong in him you have to fast and pray to get the harvest you keep the devil underfoot daily read the holy book child heaven will be worth Shed his blood for the lost. He willingly died to save the world from sin. Go to Calvary, you'll see. He won the victory. Jesus 
place and hear the master's call. He'll say, child, you kept the faith. You stayed in the race. Heaven will be worth it all. Jesus will take us right before God's throne. We'll hear a voice say, bright welcome home. We'll lift our hearts in praise as we behold His face and say, Father, praise God, I'm home. Well, heaven will be worth it all to look upon Jesus' face and hear the Master's call. He'll say, child, you kept the faith. You stayed in the Was a mirror. 
miracle way. The painter was Jesus. What a painting he made. All oh, the pain and tears he put in it to show the love that he gave.
Changely World Radio is a powerful internet radio that streams God's love and greatness 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You don't need a traditional radio, just your laptop, tablet, or smartphone. And you can download our free apps from our website at earnestangely.org. When troubles push in on you, then tune into sermons. I accuse Christianity for having ministers that will deny what God has promised us. Songs. I'm going to join the angels band. I'll sing with the angels in glory band. And personal testimonies that build faith and joy. They were drugs of mental addiction, physical addiction. Instantly, Reverend Angley, I was delivered from those devils that bound my life. Praise the Lord. That's good. Also, Go to ErnestAngely.org and visit the Worship Center and see life-changing miracles. Come on! <laughs> Receive personal prayer from Reverend Angely. There's the healing hands like no other hands. And sign up as an online ministry partner and receive free downloads. Dip your cup in God's river of love and never be the same. Friend, our worship center and world radio can be such a blessing in your walk with the Lord. Be sure and tell family and friends about it as well. Now, taking you back into Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral, and it is time for the healing line. Watch the power of God in action. I sanctify the Lord God. I declare the miracles and healings are done by him. I am his witness. I never take any of his glory. I don't heal the people. His love, his grace, his power heals. All healing, all healing comes from heaven. Remember that. Man has none of it. None of it. Where are you from? I'm from West Virginia. Well, what's, what do you need? I need a miracle, but I need to rededicate my life back to God. All right. So, and what do you, what else the, do you uh, need? The doctors say I got gout. Huh? They say I got gout. And yeah. I've, I've been fighting it for like three or four but years. But God heals that like That's every right. day. That's right. All right. Say, oh God. Oh God. I'm lost. I'm lost. I've been walking in darkness. I've been walking in darkness. I've been shaming my Lord. I've been shaming my Lord. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. The Lord brought me here tonight. The Lord brought me here tonight. To show me Calvary. To show me Calvary. In action. In action. The blood. The blood. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. That was spilled on Calvary. Was spilled on Calvary. Was for me. Was for me. And I accept it tonight. And I accept it tonight. And it's washing away. It's washing away. All of my sins. All my sins. Every one of them. Every one of them. Come on in, Come on Jesus. In, Jesus. Come on in. Come on in, Jesus. Yay, 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 yay. Amen. You believe you're saved? I do. All right, now let's get that miracle yes, sir. of healing. Yes, sir. I don't know how many has been healed of that terrible disease. It's bad. And it is bad. It is. Yay, in the name of Jesus. Let that power come up on you. Holy Lord God Almighty, it's coming. You're feeling it? You're feeling it? You're feeling it? No doubt. I don't have a doubt. I make no room for doubt. I make no room for doubt. He's being healed. He's being healed. He's being healed. Oh, glory. Whoa. Glory to God. Amen. Are you feeling that? Uh, I haven't felt this in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> do you have my book, Healing from Heaven? Yeah, we do. We got them all. My mom and dad. Oh, yeah. You've been taught right then, haven't you? We've been in this ministry since I was a kid. My, my dad is a pastor, Pastor Hank. Is that right? Yeah, that's my dad. That's well, my tell father, them a so. big hello for I, I me. will. I will. Come see us when they can. I will. God Thank bless you. Thank you. Where are you folk from? West Virginia. That was my husband. Oh, that was your husband. Yes, sir. And you're saved? No, sir. No, no. I, I need, also need to get back into a place with God, and I need a healing. What do you need a healing? I had surgery two weeks ago, so I need a complete healing from that. Is this your daughter? Yes, sir. And do you need something from the Lord? Mm -hmm. um, it was the other day in school, um, in math, I was supposed to put my phone in my locker, and this kid came and pulled my legs from out under me, and he thought it was funny, and it hurt my elbow. 
and my hip and my elbow is really bruised. All right. Say, oh God. Oh God. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That I sinned against that you. That I sinned against you. That I put you to shame. That I put you to shame. But no more. But no more. I give my heart to you. I give my heart to you. You said if I would. You said if I would. You would wash them all away. You would wash them all, all my sins. All my sins. All my sins. All my sins. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come, into my Come heart, on Jesus. in, Jesus. Come on in, Jesus. Oh, glory. Amen. Yes, you're being saved. You're being saved. And heal, 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 heal. And you can get the Holy Ghost baptism tonight when I give the call. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Save my soul. Save my soul. I have shamed you. I have shamed you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But no more. No more. I'm going to walk with Jesus. I'm going to walk with Jesus. You said if I'd repent. You said if I'd repent. You would forgive me. You would forgive me. And save me. And save me. From all sin. From all sin. And I believe. And I believe. I'm using the blood tonight. I'm using the blood tonight. And the blood is washing away. And the blood is washing away sins. all my sins. I'm being born new. I'm being born new. I've got a new life. A new life. Yay. Woo. Glory. Amen. 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 And healing from heaven now. Yay. It's the children's bread. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Be thou made whole. Be thou made whole. Be thou made well. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And your parents are good parents. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. I told you, husband, tell them a big hello to me and come see us when they can. Big praise. And hey, how you doing? Hello. Where are you from? West Virginia. Yes, Berkeley County. West Virginia. I just want are to get with these people. Yes, yes. That's my pre my pastor's son and his wife. Good, you got yes. a good preacher. Yes, yeah. they need anointing, and our church needs anointing too, Lord. It does. Good. And um, her, his wife, she has eye trouble with her eyes. So I want to say, Lord, you know, give her a little yeah. bit of help because I know well, you can do it. What do you need? I'm good. I just want to get anointing for them. And you're saved? Yeah, yeah. In Holy Ghost. The Lord. Yes, and speaking tongues. At will? No. <laughs> no, you when better. the spirit, when the spirit comes yeah. on you. Yeah. you. You feel the spirit when the spirit comes yeah. on you. You will, believe me, yeah. you will. That's right. You will. Yay, in the name of Jesus. And for all the people, he wants to help now. Amen, amen, and amen. Yes. Jesus. Go and Thank God will be with you. Thank you Hurry back to see us. Thank you. I know he'd do it too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello. Hi. And where are you from? From Akron. Akron. And? I have pain in my left hip and leg when I lay down, and it's stiff at times. It's arthritis. Looser. I command it to go. It has to go. Those demons are being cast into hell right now. Right now. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Looser. Thank God she got it. Amen. Friend, the power of God is working in our services here at Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral. And if you're in need of a miracle or a healing, maybe you have a friend or a loved one who is, I invite you to be with us. Any of our weekends, we have four powerful services in two locations. Be in that Friday night miracle service at 7 p.m. at Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, 2700 State Road. Friend, for years we've had this miracle service. People have traveled from all over, year after year, to be in that miracle service. And people have received fantastic miracles and healings. And you can too. Saturday at 7 p.m., we have a youth service in our Akron location, 1055 Canton Road in Springfield Township. This service is dedicated to the youth However, people of all ages are welcome to attend, and you'll enjoy a male and female speaker. Our young people, they preach, testify, sing, and make music for the Lord, and what a time they have. Then Sunday, we have two services in our Cuyahoga Falls location. It starts 
with the Sunday morning worship service at 10 a.m., a special message in the main auditorium. Also, Sunday school for the boys and girls in our junior church department. Then Sunday evening at 7 p.m., it's a great evangelistic service. So do be with us, you'll be greatly blessed. And speaking of a blessing, do read the latest edition of the Power of the Holy Ghost magazine. It's the June issue, and it's a great report on Reverend Angeley's recent crusade in Soweto, South Africa. Oh, what a great report that is. So go to our website, ernestangeley.org, and read it for free. Friend, I hope you've been blessed today. Always remember, nobody has ever loved you like Jesus loves you. Nobody has ever cared for you like he cares for you. You are special to me and the good Lord. God bless. Are you enjoying the anointed music, singing, and preaching on this program? I want to let you know it is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week on Ernest Angley World Radio. Go to our website to listen or download one of our apps. It doesn't matter where you are. As long as you have an internet connection, you can listen. Ernest Angley World Radio, a voice to the world. This program is paid for by the Ernest Angley Outreach Partners.